Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to a mod tutorial on mystical agriculture. I'm in Minecraft 1.16.5 uh, Forge and today I'll talk about the everything in this mod uh, which is a very cool mod that lets you grow your resources, okay? So you will be focused on agriculture to get the stuff in game, uh, stuff from mobs and stuff from the, the world. So basically everything or almost everything is obtainable with crops okay so let's get started so the first thing that you want to get it's the mystical agriculture book so to craft it you just uh, use a book and the Ethereum essence uh, i'll explain to you how to get Ethereum essence so this book is very handy because it has a lot of stuff about the mod almost basically everything okay so i will cover basically everything in this in this video but for more information you should check out the mystical agriculture first edition okay this is a very uh, useful item so check it out so this mod uh, brings world generation for example it brings a uh, prosperity ore in the overworld and inferior ore so the prosperity ore gives you uh, prosperity shards and the inferior ore gives you inferior essence then in the nether you also have the solium ore and the soul stone so the solium ore will generate where there is soul stone okay so when you find soul stone you will find uh, solium ore and vice versa and using solium ore you can process it but the first process that you uh, what you will get is solium dust so these basically are the four uh, items that generate in the overworld these two and in the nether those two so being that the Inferium Essence, the Prosperity Shard, the Solium Ore and the Soul Stone are very important ingredients in this mod, the first thing that you want is uh, after you get the Inferium Essence, either by in the Inferium Ore or by killing mobs, uh, you can either get Inferium Essence from mobs or from the, from the Ore, you can also get it by crops. So you will want to craft the Inferium Seed. So the Inferium Seed, as you can see here, it's just wheat seeds with some Inferium Essence around it and you can plant it on a farmland, in any farmland, uh, and it will grow and generate Inferium Essence. Keep in mind that you will need a lot, and when I say a lot, it's a lot of Inferium Essence uh, throughout this, this mod, okay? So get yourself a lot of these seeds and grow them. Uh, because you will need a lot of the of the of this essence okay and mine every block that you find and when you kill mobs uh, 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 keep the the inferior essence that you that you get from mobs because you will need it so now that you have your handy book and you know the uh, ore generation around the world and in the nether uh, and you are getting those you are keep keeping those in the in your chests and you are also planting the Inferium Essence in some farmland uh, with some water, you will want to get the Infusion Crystal. So the Infusion Crystal will uh, will get will be able to get you to the next steps of, of this mod. So basically, you have f uh, five tiers of the, the Essence. You have the Inferium Essence, which I showed you. Then you have the Prodentium Essence, the ter ter Tertium Essence, man, these names are hard, uh, the Imperium Essence and the Supremium Essence. So to get these five essences, you will want to use an Infusion Crystal, either the Infusion Crystal or the Master Infusion Crystal. So the difference is, is that the Infusion Crystals is made with some Prosperity Shards and Inferium Essence and Diamonds and the, it has uh, limited uses, so it has 1000 uh, uses uh, left in this case, so every time you use it, it will, it will go down. Then the Master Infusion Crystal is unlimited uh, uses, but you will need the, the, the highest, or one of the highest tier of, of Essence and some Gemstones, which use the, the these these essence too because of the color and some prosperity shards okay so the uses are as follows uh, to use the infusion crystal you 
will get the next tier essence using the last tier essence. So, for example, if I have Inferium Essence to get to the second tier, which is the Prudentium Essence, I will use four around a Euphusion Crystal and I will get one Prudentium. Then, using four Prudentium, I can get one Tertium, and using four Tertium, I can get one Imperium, and using four Imperium, I can guess I can get the last, uh, the highest tier of, of Essence, which is the Supremium. So this is the mechanics of how to get different tiers of essence, and you will you will see why. Uh, because to craft different tiers of seeds, you will need dif different tiers of essences, and when you can get the supremium essence, you will definitely want to get the master infusion crystal because you will use a lot of infusion crystal, and each one uses. A diamond so if you are low on resources it will not be be a, a good time for you okay you then have uh, different types of farmlands so basically you have the inferior farmland the prudentium tertium imperium and supremium for the five tiers of the essence and each farmland uh, gives you a boost on the output of the of the seed that is there okay so each seed that you put in there the higher uh, the tier of the farmland uh, the better the output will be so to craft any of these farmlands so for example i'll show you the the imperium one you just need uh, some dirt the essence that you are uh, that you want to use so the tier that you will want to to get the the farmland and some uh, a hole to so to tilt the the dirt or you can use the farmland with the imperium essence and you also get the imperium farmland in this case so it's very easy so for each each for each farmland you just uh, it just varies the the type of essence that you use and this is a very um, helpful way of of getting more output from the seeds not just from the uh, essence seeds that i showed you but from the animal seeds and the the ore seeds and everything okay this will be a very very helpful so being that the farmland only uh, boosts the output of the of the crop to make it go faster you will use or want to use the growth accelerator so you have five tiers and each growth accelerator uh, only uh, accelerates the crop on top of it okay so it's not an area of effect it will only affect the top on top of it what will vary uh, from from these uh, growth accelerators from from one to another is the range so i'll explain so the inferium has 12 blocks 24 the prudentium 13 36 imperium 48 and supremium uh, 60 blocks so this means that you can stack uh, up to that uh, range so you can stack 12 blocks of inferium growth accelerator 24 of prudentium uh, 36 of tertium so you can stack those under the the crop and it will boost the crop a lot so i will show you with the um, with the inferior one for example so i already have some stacked in here so i will put the 11 and 12 so now i have uh, 12 blocks uh all in uh, in a line and if i now plant the 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 inferior seed in in every farmland you will see that this one will grow faster we can wait a minute or something and okay okay you can see there so 28 percent growth instead of zero so it's much much faster and to uh, craft these growth accelerators you will want to use any type of stone and uh, the inferior essence and the gemstone the gemstone is basically the, the that essence with the prosperity gemstone and the prosperity gemstone is the prosperity shard which we you get from the from the prosperity ore with with a diamond and for uh for every one of them it's basically the same recipe so stone the, the type of essence you you need and the the gem which comes from a, a diamond with prosperity shard oh and you can see right there it's fully grown okay so that's basically how 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 the growth accelerators work then if you want to grow the crops by hand you also have the watering can so the watering can is made with some iron a bowl and a bone meal and you can upgrade it for for uh, every tier uh, from the inferior to the supremium and each tier uh, will use the the 
the, the last tier with some other items that are uh, the, the, the ingot, the, 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 that essence ingot. So, for example, for Supremium ingot, you want to use sup two Supremium essence with some Prosperity ingot. And the Prosperity ingot, it's some Prosperity shard and uh, iron ingot instead of a diamond for the gem. For the gem. So, in this case, you, you, you will use the iron ingot and you will get the Prosperity ingot. And then, also, uh, the other ingredient that you have is the Mystical Fertilizer. So, the Mystical Fertilizer is an item that instantly grows uh, uh, the crop or uh, the sapling. So, I will show you, for example, this one. Boom! Fully grown, fully grown, fully grown, fully grown. Okay? And to get it, you have two ways of, of crafting this, this item. So, you can either use Bone Meal, uh, Inferium Essence and Diamond. Or you can use Inferium Essence, Diamond, and Fertilized Essence. So Fertilized Essence, uh, it's a, a byproduct, it's a 10% drop change from uh, the crops, okay? And this one will get you double the amount uh, from that one. So you, you will be uh, reducing the use of, of diamonds if you use the Fertilized Essence. But it's also a, a, good, a good recipe to use bone meal when you want to really grow some crop to for 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 any reason okay so now that you know about how to grow stuff quicker and how to get more stuff and the types of of the tiers of of essence you can get into the very fun part so basically this mod allows you to grow everything in the game or almost everything so you can grow stuff that comes from animals you can grow stuff that comes from ores uh, you can grow like stuff that gives you cobblestone if you need or something okay so the basic part of this is that you will uh, always need a prosperity seed base or a solium seed base so for the solium seed base as the name says soul it's f when you want to craft something that will get resources that comes from animals and the prosperity seed base is when you want to craft something that it's not uh, an animal based uh, product okay so to to get uh, this stuff you will need an altar so basically you will need a fusion altar with some infusion pedestals around it in this way and don't worry when you place down the infusion altar you will see like a, a ghost a ghostly uh, infusion pedestal around it so it it will guide you where where to put the infusion pedestal and the recipes are quite easy so i will show you some recipes for for the for example for the iron ingot let's see iron ingot so I can see iron seed, probably. Yeah, iron seed. We also have quartz and rich iron seeds, which is from uh, the other mod. So iron ingot, for example. So to get an iron ingot, you will need a prosperity seed base in the center, some iron ingots uh, on the four corners, and then tertium essence. And I, th I don't think you need to put that uh, in order, okay? I think the, the mod accepts if you put like everything uh, uh, like side, side by side, okay? So I'll show you for the, for the iron. So let's get four iron. So one, two, three, four. Let's get the essence we need. In this case, the essence is the tertium essence, four of them. So now, if I put one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then the prosperity shard in the middle, and then you need a redstone signal. In this case, I'll use a button. And there you go. Yeah, uh, you don't need to place it in order. You just need to place the, the right ingredients. And ta-da, now I have a iron seed and you can plant it like the those seeds okay you can plant those and this is how you get basically uh the the seeds from this mod to grow um, the resources so now if you see the iron seeds will get me uh, iron essence and the iron essence when in this pattern will get me six iron ingots so this is a way of producing iron for example by typing mystical agriculture in ji whoops you can check every essence here, like every essence and every seed. So, for example, water seed, 
fire seed, inferior seed, which I showed you, the stone seed, dirt seed, and you can see the tier. So the tier says uh, which essence will be used, okay? Then nature seed, this one is very cool, for example, because nature seed will get you uh, uh, very different types of, of uh, resources. So if I if you use it like this, you will get vines. If you use it with some dirt seed, you can get puzzle and prune sapling. So pumpkin, you can grow as I said everything. Okay, like everything you can grow. Uh, and for some of them, uh, for some of the seeds, like the water seeds, the tier says elemental, it will not use the essence. Okay, so for example, uh, water seed, I will show you, it will use. Uh, Oh, no, sorry. Uh, it will use the essence, but it won't use like any block or a type or something. It will use uh, a different type of, of material, which in this case is a glomeratio. Okay, so the glomeratios, uh, I have some of them here, like the air glomeratio, water, nature, prismarine, dye, honey, and nether, coral. You have a lot of them. If I agglomeratio, you have more of them. And to get those, you you will need like uh, usually four ingredients so for this case air accumulation is is some gravel dirt glass bottle and clay ball and for water probably some yeah water bucket uh, clay ball gravel and dirt so you will need to get these items uh, when the essence represents uh, more than one stuff okay but you can every everything you can check on gei okay so this is basically how you get the resources that don't come from animals but then uh, if you want to get uh, resources uh, seeds that will get you resources that comes from animals that's a different story so to get into the animal seeds so to get resources that comes from animals you will need the solemn seed base which is basically the the solemn dust with the prosperity seed base and then we need a solid dagger and a soul jar. So to get mobs, if you search, for example, wither skeleton, uh, okay, it, it, it is, it is, it's here. So the wither skeleton seeds, to get those, you will need some supremum essence, okay, some solemn seed base, okay, and then you need jars, soul jars filled with wither skeletons. Uh, not with wither skeletons, like wither skeleton liquid, I don't know. So 8 out of 8, okay, so in this case you need 32 to total. So you will get uh, 1 to 1.5, I think, you will get like a, a, a value that will vary, that will vary when you kill that type of mob so let's have like a easy a easier a easier mob so for example a pig so let's say i want to have the uh, pig essence so to have the pig essence i need the pig seed and to have the pig seed i need four jars of that and some supremium some prudentium essence so if i now have like two pigs and i kill them I can now see that I have 3 out of 8. So that's basically it. You will need to grind a lot. So you'll need to kill a lot of uh, mobs to get into the into a specific seed. So for example, you can imagine if you want like Enderman uh, seed, you will need to kill a lot of Enderman. Okay, so that's not a very... Um, easy uh, way in the beginning of the game to get the seeds so it's a more advanced uh, more to the final uh, part of the game of, of the mod okay so go slow I, I i i played with with this mod a lot so go slow uh, and then uh, w this is the way to get the 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 seeds from from mobs you also have another type of seed, which is the experience uh, seed. So the experience uh, seed, as the name says, it will get you experience. Okay, so experience essence and the experience essence will give you experience droplets that when right clicked, it will give you experience. So to get the seeds, you will, instead of the those jars for the animals, you will need an uh, experience capsule. This one is a pain in the butt, okay? That's uh, This one is a pain in the butt. So you can kill um, uh, the, the, any mob with the, the other, other sword. So you can kill it with a diamond sword, anything. And if you have the experience capsule with you, it will start to fill up. 
but I tried it in game and it's very slow it's very very slow at least the last time I played it it was slow so I I I come to the conclusion that the the easiest way to get like four capsules is to fight the Ender Dragon. Let me tell you, if you have like I I bring uh, with me four capsules uh, in my gameplay when I was killing the Ender Dragon, and the four fill, uh, uh, they fill up like the four w went full. Okay, so that's a very uh, easy uh, easy way to get uh, experience. Bring four capsules with you to the to the Ender Dragon fight, and then you will get yourself the experience seed. Keep that in mind. And you then have, like, for every uh, tier of the essence, you have uh, various tiers of furnaces. So I will show you that, as we expect, uh, the higher the tier, the faster it will uh, smelt your items. So I'll have some cobblestone. So if I start with this one, oops, not that. So you can see how slow it is. Okay, but now if I come into this one, it's faster. If I come into this one, way faster. And you are guessing, every time we go into a, another one, it's way faster. And then the Supreme Furnace, just look at that. And you can smelt with one single uh, coal, you can smelt, uh, smelt a lot of items, okay? You can check how many items and how fast it is in the book, so I advise you to, to read the book, but basically you, you have, you have a, a very fast way of, of smelting items and not using um, a lot of coal. So now that you have a lot of different types of seeds for uh, resources that have come from animals and resources that are in the uh, generation of the overworld and nether, you might think, do I need to each time that I'm like, imagine that you want to produce more ender pearls. Do I need to, to like kill a lot of endermen and get more capsules and produce more, more seeds? No, you don't. Uh, you will get a chance of getting more seeds when you plant those types. So imagine if you plant like a one, uh, one seed of uh, ender pearls, you can get more by when the time goes by. So you you can get like uh, two seeds when you when you when this one is fully grown, and then you you go from there. But then that can get out of hand if you start to get a lot of seeds that you don't know what to do with with them you can get into the seed reprocessor. Re so basically seed reprocessor will transform the seeds that you have into the essence. So for example, let's say the example that I was saying, you have uh, Enderman uh, seeds, now you have a lot of them. So you already have nine planted and now you have uh, more than, that, than you can handle. You can use them, the Enderman seeds, in the seed reprocessing and you will get some Ender Enderman's essence. So basically you can recycle those uh, seeds to get you something that for you is valuable. And you have, uh, as uh, earlier, as uh, for everything in the, in the game, you have uh, five tiers. So for example, I'll show you with some Enderman seeds. Uh, it needs some power. Uh, wait a minute. Let me get some coal. Okay, if I put there the seed, it's very slow, and you guessed it, if I go to the last one, to the last tier, it's way faster, okay? Uh, the quantity that we, it will get you, I think it's the same, so for example, if I put one in here, it's two, and if I put, yeah, it processed one, yes, it's two, uh, what varies is, the, is how fast uh, it processed the, the seed. Other than the seeds, this mod also offers you armor and tools. So basically you have five tiers of armor for uh, every essence. And then you have the five tiers of tools for every essence. And for those, um, for the armor and, and, and the tools, you also have the upgrades. So the upgrades are, are very neat and you really want to, to put them in the, in the items to get a lot of cool effects that I will show you now. So first, to get the armor, uh, for example, the Inferium Helmet, you will need a Diamond Helmet with some Inferium Ingot and I Inferium Gemstone. And the Ingot is some 
Inferior Essence with the Prosperity Ringet, which is iron with uh, Prosperity Shards. And then the, uh, the Gemstone is some Inferior Essence with the Prosperity Gemstone. And then for every other item, the logic is the same. You will want to use the, the helmet or the chest plate or the leggings or something from the last uh, tier. So the tier 3 will use the tier 2 and the tier 4 the tier 3. And you will use the gemstones and the, the ingots from uh, that tier. Okay, So that's basically it. Uh, the 5 tiers of armor. And then the same logic. You also have the tools. The first one starts with diamond, and the last one you will use the the last tier, so tier four, uh, to get the the last tool. You have like the sword, the pickaxe, the shovel, the axe. So you have everything, okay? The supreme staff, which is not implemented yet. So let's see what what they are doing. And this is basically it. Those are very powerful items that can be upgraded. So to upgrade these items, you will want to craft. Augments, okay, so if you go into mystical agriculture and then augments, you have a lot of augments, so Basically, you have uh, the unattuned augment, which is like the base the base augment Which the recipe is like follows some iron ingot and prosperity shards and then using the same altar like this one diffusion altar that you used for the seeds you will use it to uh, craft the augment. So, for example, uh, to craft the absorption one augment that you can put in the armor. So you can see there that it's a tier one augment and it's two armor. So, for example, this one is four golden apples with the inferior essence and some and a tune augment in the center. And then, if you uh, want to put it in the armor, so for example, this one, you will grab the tier. Of, of of the of the item that it's in the augment so for example tier one so I'll put it in the chest plate and you will want to craft yourself a tinkering table so the tinkering table is some solium dust with some stone and you will right click it put the inferior chest plate in this case in the middle the augment there and now I can take it out and I can see there that it's tier one absorption one and if I equip it, I now have absorption. Okay, so that's basically all, all the all the tinkering table with the augments uh, work. But the cool thing is that you have a lot of tiers that will do very different stuff. So, for example, health boost for tier one. Then in tier two, you have like night vision, water breathing for the helmet. Okay, you can see where to put it. Absorption two, uh, tiling, mining, speed. Uh, the mining is, uh, of course, for pickaxe and shovel and axe. Uh, then you have absorption, no fall damage in the tier 3, a jump boost for tier 4. And then in the last tier, as I remember, you also have flight augment. So I'll show you that, for example. So chest plate. If I have a tier 5, so keep in mind, you will, you want, you can only use on the tier that it says on the augment okay so for example tier 5 i put it in here tier 5 and flight so i'll go now into the other mode so now if i right click i can creative fly and i'm not i'm not, i'm in survival i'm not in creative if i take the helmet and trying to fly i'm double clicking the space bar and i can't and if I put it on, I'm not flying. So that's basically how the augments and the ar uh, work with the armors and the tools. So you can check them out in GI and read what they do. And you can also read about them in the, in the book. As an example, I'll show how to craft an augment. So for example, if you want to craft the health boost one augment in the tier one, so that one is um, wither, two wither skeletons, four inferium, and two golden apples. So let's say you were, of course, in survival. So skeleton. So I'll get two wither skeletons. So four inferium, inferium essence. And the other was golden 
apple and of course the augment base which is that one and a tune so imagine that you craft it all okay so imagine that you you did the golden apple uh, the you get you got the with the skeleton skull and also you got the you craft the unattuned augment so now if i go into the altar where i uh, crafted the seed i can now place the items that i need press the button and Kaboom! Now you have Health Boost 1, Augment. In an extra segment, this mod also comes with a treat blocks that are witherproof. So you have a brick, glass and a block. So you can build yourself a room to fight the wither. And then, uh, compatibil compatibility part, if you have botany pots or a thermal expansion, you can grow the seeds in them, okay? So in the phytogenic insulator from thermal expansion, you can grow every any seed, okay? Any seed. And in the botany pot, you can put in there uh, farmland, normal one, or you can use the essence farmland and it will grow the seed. And that's it for today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Uh, give a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them on the comment section below. Uh, check out my other videos. And see you next time.